Hey what's up guys, this is Wicked Android HD and today I'm gonna be showing you how to flash Android Eyes Cold Project. So I read on the official XDA thread that this ROM was officially based on AOKP which stands for Android Open Camera Project. Meanwhile they uh, <coughs> they stopped AOKP stopped uh, developing uh, this main base so they had to move to the Cyanogen mode uh, base. And um, let's get into the flashing part. Uh, first of all, I do always recommend making an Android backup of your current configuration. And afterwards, go into recovery and uh, wipe clean to install a new ROM. So it's gonna wipe, it's gonna be wiping all the data, all the cache, all system. And um, as far as I read on official thread, it's a very customizable ROM, and I'm really nervous on uh, how it moves because uh, last day I tested the Resurrection Remix ROM, which seemed to be a perfect, perfect ROM for me. But uh, <coughs> I got a request from one of my viewers to test, uh, in order to test this uh, a. ECP ROM Android Ice Cold Project. The name sounds a little bit creepy if you ask me, but um, let's hope the best. Let's hope this is gonna be a good one. So, after you, you wiped all your data, all you have to do is to go and install zip, choose zip from SD card. And uh, by default, this ROM doesn't need any kind of gaps, so you just have to flash this AECP device. <coughs> okay, so it's flashing, it shouldn't take any longer then maybe 30 seconds yes it uh, it's installed okay so I misunderstood some things uh, we actually need to flash gaps I have booted up the ROM and there were no gaps or whatsoever so we have to to flash gaps afterwards and it's called uh, let's see P gaps modular mini yeah for lollipop And we're gonna see how fast it boots up. Sorry for the mis this misunderstanding. <coughs> okay, guys, so I found out that with a stock CM kernel, the ROM is a little bit sluggish, it uh, has a little bit of lag in it. And uh, I <coughs> decided to flash Googie Max kernel the latest uh, and last Googie Max kernel for CM12 developer said that uh, this is the latest and last release of him and we're gonna test it out right now because um, the phone was a little bit uh, was lagging from time to time I don't think uh, it is very good. Overall the ROM is looking pretty sweet. I gotta tell you guys. Um, there are some some parts that are uh, also available in uh, Remix Resurrection ROM but there are also some parts that uh, uh, surprised me. They are very very cool and uh, shiny. I'm gonna be browsing through them in a couple of seconds. Sorry for the background noise. My neighbors are are so dumb sometimes. Let me enter the pin. 
Okay, so as you may see from the first view, you may reckon that uh, I have modified my DPI. The screen looks a lot uh, kind of um, smaller. Okay, and uh, as you may see here, we have a new app called Google Max S Twix. And um, let me. Okay, brightness is very good. Um, let me check things out here. So we have a CPU maximum frequency set up to one night. Okay, and we have a lot of tweaks regarding CPU and GPU here. GPU is on demand, LED function sound, sound control, charge, AC charge, okay, input output, miscellaneous, okay, so we have a GRAM activated, profiles, balance performance, Extras and yeah, uh, as you may see, I'm running Google Max kernel. Google Max CM12, along with the AICP Android Ice Cold project, so it's the latest version. <coughs> so, um, as you may see, uh, I'm running a live wallpaper in the background. And things are look, looking pretty pretty smooth after I downloaded this and flashed this kernel. Um, so the first uh, thing that is going to be different from uh, the Resurrection Remix is that you can customize the style's color, and I'm going to show you how. Actually, I'm going to browse through all the ASP extras right now, and we're going to go to various shit first. Firstly. Disable force close notification is on. Show weather here. As you may see, 2 degrees Celsius in Bucharest. And if you press, you'll get Yahoo weather with all the forecast. Lock screen weather. You would also get uh, some weather information on the lock screen, as you may see. Okay. Boot animation. Clock settings, and you also got an ad blocker. Very fast and smooth, it blocks all the ads. For example, let me open the speed test application. And if you if you know, but uh, this app is full of ads. It's playing right down below here. Um. We were into settings app. Let's uh, let me show you also this uh, stock uh, recent app panel. So we're gonna get into settings ASP, A ICP extras. So we're done with that notification drawer. So select another tiles. You can add uh, this type of tiles here. Anything you want. And there is, these are the ones that are displayed here. Show four tiles per row, auto close panel when you click a tile. Okay, enlarge first row, brightness slider, detailed Wi Fi view is uh, this thing that uh, the Resurrection Remix didn't have, have. When you click this, you will get this dialog showing you the Wi Fi connections. Which is very cool. Let me turn off the brightness a little bit. Okay. Advanced force expanded notification. Disable on lock screen. Quick pull down. Yeah, you know what uh, this does. Status bar. Clock and date. As you may see, we have here some nice customization of clock and date 
showing the upper coming out in the center of the notification bar. You can also add uh, the second on the in the time time section. Okay, as you may see, clock seconds. You can uh, you have the same battery icons as on the remix resurrection ROM AICP logo it will display up right here I don't know if you can see it clearly but it's there carrier label brightness control double tap to sleep notification count network activity arrows this is an option that wasn't in, uh, in the resurrection remix and uh, that I didn't like uh, that arrows that were displayed uh, right there on the Wi-Fi icon and what is very interesting and I found it very 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 you know maybe catchy for users like me is a greeting message that you would get after you unlock your device and you have to be very carefully watching very carefully here so I'm gonna be unlocking the device and you will see Wicked Android HD. It appears a nice greeting. And you can set up a timeout how long you want it to be. For example, let me. Okay, I'm gonna unlock the device. And nice fading. Okay. Um. Display and animations you can customize your desired animations here for opening apps and so on list view animation as you may see I'm not really not here um, display for example no not here I don't know uh, file, file manager for example and you will see what I'm talking about is this kind of animation which looks pretty pretty sweet settings again you can set up your DPI, I set mine at uh, 360 recent panel settings you can customize this kind of uh, panels here along with a kilo all button uh, gesture annual app uh, circle bar same things and AISP ODA CP ODA. As you may see here, system info, latest, you're up to date. Okay, themes, usual usual stuff. And uh, yeah. So to be very precise on what I'm doing here, as I do always uh, recommend is to flash Google Max kernel after you flash the ROM and the gaps because it will give you a more fluid fluid interaction with the device and uh, let me check the performance profile activate profile how do you activate the profile active profile performance okay so let me show you the RAM first um, apps so you have 1.4 gig of RAM free even if I'm using uh, a live wallpaper which will eat some, some RAM but um, if I change, if I change it to well, not not themes. If I change it to a stock wallpaper, for example, this one, and I'm gonna be setting this, and uh, I'm gonna clear all the all the apps. So there are no apps in the background. Let's see. Then my neighbors are getting on my nerves right now. 
sorry for the background noise again. Yeah, we have 1.3 giga, giga of RAM now. <laughs> That's very strange of KitKat. <laughs> we have disabled many apps and uh, we have less RAM available. But uh, yeah, I think it doesn't really depends on this ROM, on this kind of ROM, MSP ROMs, CM based ROMs, because um, they are made to be quick by default. As you may see, you can customize your color here. I forgot to show you that. So if you go into notification drawer and custom color options, you can customize everything, including including uh, your transparency, for example. If you set up this, they will be transparent, which is very cool if you like to theme your ROM. But uh, yeah, so that was the ROM, guys. It looks pretty well, if you ask me. Um, the real question is what I change from Remix. Resurrection Remix to this ROM. Well, um, yeah, yeah. I think this uh, would be a great idea. It's not uh, actually a better ROM. It's a ROM that is more customizable than Remix, Resurrection Remix. Um, I can test the bugs if they appear by time, you know, but. Um, I can tell you that this is a, a very good ROM. Yeah. Along with the Resurrection Remix. They are both the same in terms of in terms of performance and thing, but this is a more customizable one if you like to be more customized. So yeah. This was the review of uh, AICP Android Ice Cold project. Thanks you for watching guys. And uh, if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel in order to m keep me motivating doing this type of thing. So stay tuned guys. Bye bye.